Hey guys, this is TechRacer and today we take a look at the Pixel Experience ROM on the OnePlus 5T. Now this Pixel Experience ROM build is based on Android 10 that is Android Q. So let's go to about phone and as you can see OnePlus 5T with Android version 10. So it's Android Q as you can see. Uh, and I have been using this ROM for now about 24 hours or more than 24 hours and I would like to say that ROM is completely stable and you can use it as a daily driver. As you can see I have installed all the necessary applications that we use on day to day basis. First of all I would like to tell you guys that the ROM is completely smooth as you can see. The animations are so smooth and it is highly optimized uh, version of the Pixel experience so you can use it as a daily driver as well. So now let's simply jump into the settings. So <clears throat> once we jump into the setting as you can see I am already using the dark mode and it is working and it's looking super fine on the AMOLED display. So first of all let's go to the uh, network and internet as you can see uh, Wi-Fi is working completely fine and we do have the Wi-Fi calling feature which is available on the device uh, with this ROM. So uh, the Wi-Fi calling works out of the box then we have the connected device so bluetooth and nfc is also working fine i have tested both of these then if we jump into the display we have all the uh, features uh, the ambient display or the laptop display as you can see and we do have the dark theme as you can see we can simply turn it on or off from here so currently i am using the dark theme and i have turned it off as you can see so dark theme looks quite nice and it is applicable to system wide so all the applications will be turned into dark then you have styles and wallpaper basically this allows us to create our own custom theme using the fonts icons or even the accent colors so that's pretty good thing we can create our own theme from here as you can see then we have the lock screen display basically this contains the ambient display or the always on display so whenever we uh, lock down the phone it will uh, if we wave the hands on it it will simply show you the glance of the notifications or, or the uh, date and time onto the screen after that we have all the traditional features such as double tap to wake and as well as the uh, accidental wake up below that we have the digital well-being as you can see and it's already working super fine and as you can see it's already tracking my data so that's pretty good thing and if we jump down to the system we do have few advanced option and under that we have the oneplus settings so we have all the native oneplus features available such as the slider as you can see we can uh, control the slider over here and the slider is also working super fine so we do not have any issues with that and we do get all the native oneplus gestures as you can see the you know, circle to camera and things like that then after that we have the gestures so these are the basically the android 10 gestures so swipe on the fingerprint to simply pull down the notification panel so this is the one of the good feature we do have all the other navigation gestures as well so this is the new android 10 gesture as you can see uh, which we can use it then we also have the pill gestures or the pill uh, pill navigation which we used to call it in android pi and we do have the standard navigation bar as well after that we do have a google camera installed in this rom and it's completely working super fine i have tested all the night side as well as the portrait camera and even the video is also working as you can see and the 4k recording is supported as you can see here we have the uh, ultra high resolution so 4k recording is supported and it's working super fine the portrait and the night side is also working so do not have any issues with it and even the front camera is also working now if you want to flash this rom simply just power down your device and make sure that you have uh, the custom recovery installed on your device so simply boot into the custom recovery so once you are booted into the recovery simply go to wipe and advanced wipe then dynamic system data and cache so simply wipe the cache then go to install and navigate to the RAM or ROM where we have copied it and simply select the zip and uh, confirm the flash and you will boot back to the pixel experience you do not need to install the G apps as it is a pixel experience ROM so this is pretty much it for this video guys if you found this video really helpful then do it a like button subscribe button and share in for more such videos so thank you guys thanks for watching